The Australian Reptile Park has welcomed the largest male funnel web spider that it's ever had donated. Recent rainy and humid weather has provided the perfect conditions for funnel web spiders to thrive. And due to its enormous size, the eight furry legged friend has been named Hercules. Joining us for more is someone with the greatest job title in the world, Spider Keeper, Emma Teeny. G'day, Emma. Hello, thanks for having me, guys. Tell us about this specimen. So we um, had Hercules hand in to us at one of our drop-off locations. We have several drop-off locations for funnel webs from Newcastle uh, all the way to Sydney, and he was actually handed in at John Hunter Hospital. Um, and, and where did it come from, and, and how did you react when you first saw it? Well, to be honest, male fem um, funnel webs are significantly smaller than female, so I actually thought it was a female. He was handed in by public donation, and um, I, I just thought he was a female. What's the, um, I understand like males have shorter lifespans than females too. Yeah, absolutely. So, whoa, he's trying to get out there. Our uh, male funnel webs, uh, once they reach maturity, their natural lifespan's only around one year. So we need to um, constantly have them handed in by the general public um, because we need them for our life-saving antivenom program. Emma, while you talk, I'll get you to hold Hercules up a little bit higher. We can't actually quite see. Uh, we maybe keep the lid on for your own safety, but um, uh, <laughs> Can you see him there? that is a bit of a monster. Hey, how um, how significant is Hercules for your venom program? Uh, all our spiders are important. He's um, pretty impressive, but every spider that gets handed in goes into our life-saving anti-venom program, and they're all so valuable. What, where does that venom get used, and, and how much does it produce? So since the invention of antivenom in 1981, we actually haven't had a single fatality due to the Sydney funnel web bite. And it takes about 120 to 200 milkings of a single spider to be able to create one vial of antivenom. So is it your job to do that milking? What's the process yeah. involved? Uh, so we basically set up a little vacuum cleaner. Uh, it's in a glass pipette and we'll aggravate the spider, which doesn't take much. They're quite defensive suck the venom off the fangs, and then that gets frozen, uh, freeze-dried, and sent down to the laboratory. Um, and, and then and then ends up going off to, to hospitals? To where, where does it end up? Yeah, absolutely. So they actually um, inject it into giant rabbits, and the rabbits produce antibodies, which is then extracted from the rabbits and used as the uh, anti-venom, which is directly um, distributed to most of the large hospitals. Um, Emma Teeny, I really appreciate it. I'm going to let you get back to Hercules because he looks like he's a bit of a handful. But thank you so much for joining us and sharing him with us. Thank you so much for having us.